Hello everyone, this is Carlos from Live Gaming Paradise and we are back again with another Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild tutorial for you. This time we are on the north, it's north center, a little bit to the to the west. And we are going to the another labyrinth. This one is the Lomi, the North Lomi Labyrinth. I think that's pronounced correctly. And we are doing uh, the trial on the cliff. And it's a tough one, really, really tough one. But I'm going to try and explain to you as best as I can just how to do this the easiest way. As you can see, Trial on the Cliff. This is another shrine quest. As you walk into the labyrinth, you can see the shrine is there behind the bars and you can't do anything. On To the left, you have Corruption. And to the right and to the back, you have corruption again and you can't go anywhere so you can't go down those stairs so the only way I can see doing this is to go all the way just to kill that eye thing to stop the corruption to make the corruption go away so what I did was I used the power of flight it's uh, very handy in here so if you haven't got this it's gonna you need to have a lot of stamina in order to climb to the top of the structure because we are not doing this one from the top we're not cheating on this one but we need to go up to avoid having to go all the way around the labyrinth in order to just kill one more of the eyes so to stop the corruption since you're up here pick up the, sh the chest and there's there's going to be some goodies a diamond inside of this one and then let's go and kill that eye thing and to get rid of the corruption so you can go down those stairs because the way to the exit is down those stairs I mean like we could go we now that we're on top of the structure we could go to the other side of the stairs without having to kill that eye but it's it's you're gonna need to come back and it's better to just get rid of it and like that you won't have anything um, stopping you from walking around the labyrinth Okay, so we killed the eye, the corruption is gone, and now what we have to do is go down. You're not going to be coming back up again, so if this is your only flight power, if you haven't got any more to do, it, don't worry, we will be able to, f to complete it without having to go up again. So now we are on the west side. This is the west gate. To where we came in there's a chest over here just pick up what's in the chest uh, gold rupees 300 and go to the back of the structure where the shrine is in I'm gonna try and explain best as I can uh, there are three chests uh, not counting with the one on the top uh, and we're gonna get them we're gonna try and get them all and in the process we're gonna find the the um, the exit so just keep walking around the perimeter don't stray from the perimeter don't go inside of the labyrinth keep walking around on the edge of the labyrinth and you'll find some mobs and they drop some really nice spears and goodies so it's it's good to get rid of them there's also a chest in here and one of those sticks that shoot uh, balls like fireballs so once you get rid of this guy here, just pick up what you need to pick up. I've got plenty of weapons, so I'm I'm okay. But there's an enhanced lizard spear here, and uh, you can pick that one up. That deals quite a bit of damage. If you're alright with with the weapons, then just uh, carry on your quest. So if you go back a little bit, there's another spear here, and like I said, there's uh, a few more goodies here, like arrows. And that, that if you use the a bow to shoot that mob and let's keep going and get that guy up there so as you can see we opposite the edge of the on the little mini map at the bottom you can see that I'm, I'm opposite uh, where I came from right at the edge of the labyrinth this is crucial keep an eye on that mini map so you can see exactly um, where where we are and how to get to the exit 
It was really tricky. I had to do this three or four times. Don't forget to pick up what's in the chest. This one you get a, a, a sword, Edge of Duality. I've got plenty of weapons, so I'm, I'm going to leave that one in there. And that will serve as reference. If I, if I ever get lost, I can go there and find out where I was before. So there's another mob in here. Just get rid of it. This one's got a shield, so if, you, uh, if you've got any more powerful weapons, just break that shield and, and hit him and get rid of it. So once he's gone, once he's gone, then again, make your way to the west part. I'm going to the top, but I should have gone back. It's to the right, so to the west part. That's not where I'm supposed to go, so I'm going back now. So there's another mob in here. Just get rid of it. This is There's the spear that we left back there. We just keep on going the same way around the perimeter of the labyrinth, killing anything that you see. I left all these mobs in here so you guys can see because you're going to get them in the exact same place so it will, it will be a good guide for you to where we are um, so here we go so now all around the edge this is a dead end but there are some gaps in the in the roof like that that you can reach the top but pointless because we've done everything that we need to do at the top and then again all around the edge There's going to be some luminous stones and some amber along the way, so don't forget to pick that up because it's always handy to use them as um, when you're swapping things or when you're um, when you're um, selling things, then you're going to get some money for them because they're, they're worth quite a bit. So again, keeping to the perimeter, we're going to get into an area where there's a chest and two lanterns at the top see there's there's nothing here it's a dead end but what we want is right after this wall as you can see there's three lamps one behind the chest and two on either side this is where you want to go this is the place where you need to be and it's as you can see on the mini map i'm further i'm the on the west part as, as i got in and i just go into the tunnel just after you come out of that chest go into the tunnel and turn left at the end then just keep going all the way down and at the end you're going to turn right and you're just going to follow the path all the way because there's nothing here you can't go anywhere else um, there's a, an, a turning here to the right but I turned it but it's pointless you turning here you just keep on going uh, like we were because that, that was a dead end and just keep following the path and you, you're going to come up to the leather which is on the right hand side here there'll be two lanterns for on either side and that's the entrance to the structure where the um, uh, where the shrine is to the left here down there there are some electric blobs you can just get rid of them as well if you want to if you don't want to you can just let them be i didn't jump down there i didn't want to make this video longer and i can't see a way out so i didn't want to uh I mean, like, I could climb the wall, but if I would have lost here, then it would be a big trouble trying to find this place again, Could it? because it is quite difficult. Um, so pick up the block and just ram them with it or squash them with it and then get rid of all of them. And uh, on your way out, I mean, like, you can come back here and pick up all the goodies if you want to that they dropped. And that's it. So all you need to do now is just keep going up and you when you reach the top you're going to be the shrine is going to be below you so a very tough a tough labyrinth and the name of this shrine is Kaza Toki shrine and it's one of those that um, the shrine itself is not is not the challenge the challenge is how to get to the shrine because this shrine is just walk in and you uh, get your uh, go go directly to the chest, pick up whatever it's inside, and get your orb, and that's it. That's all done. 
So trial on the cliff is completed. So I hope you this video helped you and I hope you like these these videos that I make about this game. I'm really I'm really obsessed with um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I think it's a phenomenal game that I can't I can't <laughs> praise it more. I praise it in every video. I think it's a fantastic game. It's keeping me really busy. I can't do anything else unless I play a little bit of Zelda every day and I don't really want to do the Divine Beasts. I've got one left and then Ganon, but I don't want to do them because I know the game is not going to be the same. So I hope this helped you. If it did, please give me a, a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more content like this. Well, this is it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.